Hey guys, Suryu here with another vid for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about how to deal with non destructive booleans and how to, you know, handle shading and all other problems. Just quick heads up, guys, we have amazing stuff coming to our Patreon on June. We also have great stuff on May as well. So if you wanna still uh, grab the course from May and the decal pack from May, which is amazing. We have a, a sci fi arm and also a two key bounce decal pack. Next month, we have an amazing helmet tutorial, really cool with rendering and with decaling, with post processing, with everything. So it's from cube to a portfolio piece and also a brilliant decal pack uh, which you can tile and sort of array and create some really cool patterns with. It's going to be a rich themed decal pack so check our patreon links in the video description thank you so much for your support and see you there so let me just grab a cylinder very quickly and uh, 50 verts will do i'm gonna go to edit mode select the face Control b and you know what let me just turn the uh, screencast keys here what is, what is this shit that's not that uh screencast keys there we go all right, Q and bevel and side view orthographic D. We in cutter mode in box, perfect. Let's just cut it through. Press W because I'm in wedge mode. B for bevel and then X and you know, and PG. So we got this and you can see clearly already that we have a shading problem in here. Now this shading is, uh, issue is caused by simply the fact that these faces here are way too long and to simply you know handle all this uh end gun situation here because if you cut this long face with this bullion you're gonna end up with you know a lot of uh kind of a vert in here because if i grab this cylinder and i'm going to go to um smart apply and i'm going to shift click it uh, you will see that uh, what I mean, you see, you're gonna get all these dots in here and they basically mess up the shading, okay? Because this end gun here and this end gun here, these two are just too big for this curvature, right? To go through with all these uh, dots going on over there and, you know, points, etc. okay? So what you need to do in this situation, right, is simply drop a loop, okay? So control R and drop a loop. So here, control R, drop a loop and kind of contain, try to contain, mitigate this problem in here, right? Another thing that you can do is drop weighted normals. So go to sharpen and alt click on sharpen, which will flex certain areas. But you see that we're still having shading issues. So what to do in this situation? Well, what you could do is try to use weld. And weld, when you move your mouse, you know, a little bit, should start you know connecting verts and you know try to solve the problem if it doesn't another way i would solve this would be by simply reducing the bevel size okay bevel size because bevel sometimes could be overshooting like you see here is overshooting on the edge and in this area and this is causing the problem another solution for this one would be to simply move the cutter so in this situation what we could do is simply change the uh, pivot point to cursor which you can do it in here as well and then rz and simply rotate it around the cursor so around the middle of the of the cylinder and find a better spot for it you know spot that doesn't really cause any issues you see and that's that and here the same thing we simply need some you know some loops going on so we're gonna you know probably drop a loop in here and maybe drop another loop uh, uh, in here and this should you know solve the problem and there you go i mean um the shading will never be perfect now if you wanted to improve this shading here what you could do is add subdivision modifier now to add subdivision modifier what you want to do is you want to add it at the top of the stack so it's subdivide first and then everything else happens to do this with hard ups what you need to do is press q go to modifiers and alt click on subdivision it will add the subdivision at the very top okay so again uh subdivision and it will add subdivision at the very top yeah so there you go now with the subdivision added at the very top you can see that we're getting a problem and the problem is caused by the fact that i simply don't have creases running on my mesh so what i can do is simply uh, make sure that in control 
tilter panel I have my crease set up here for the sharpen tool and then I can uh, run sharpen by simply holding shift and control and clicking on sharpen which will recalculate sharpen for the entire mesh and now I have my mesh subdivided okay and you can see now that the shading here is fixed we got other problems which is basically cost now by subdivision and the fact that we have end guns so we would need to you know try to fight this let's go here and let's bring decimate so let's go to the modifiers uh, grab the decimate and move the decimate up above the bevel and you see that this will fix the problem so um, in this case here we're gonna also drop the decimate so the decimate is in here actually but it doesn't help much it's actually causing issues so let me see that what's happening in here so you can go to here to bevel and press z to see what's happening and you see the problem here is that in this situation the edge here is simply um too close to to uh to the, to, there are two edges in here okay and if i move my bevel you will see what i mean they're simply too close to one another you see that yeah so what we need to do is we need to simply move the, move the modifier to the left. So let's just grab this modifier and move it a bit to the left. So RZ and just scroll it a little bit outside to the left. And then if I'm going to, you know, come back with a bevel here, everything should be fine. Okay. So now you see that everything is peachy and the shading is perfect. Okay. Uh, let's talk about other situation. <clears throat> Let me just uh, create another cylinder. Okay. Um, here. All right. And I'm going to uh, control B this and bevel this again. Go to front view here and I'm going to slice it uh, again like this and, you know, deep X and boom, right? I'm not going to worry about the shading on the bottom. I don't care what I want to do. Right? Let's just reduce the bevel a little bit. But what I want to do now is I want to um, create a cut in here, okay, on this uh, top part. So let's just make this cutter a little bit bigger so you can see it a bit better, okay? So I'm going to uh, reset this to individual regions, make it a bit bigger, move it somewhere here so we have more, you know, more room to to work with. Now I want to create like a wedge cut in here, okay? Can't simply do it in edit mode because this is just a whole cylinder. You know, if I'm going to go to local mode and I'm going to remove the boolean temporarily, you can clearly see that this is just still a whole cylinder. This edge virtually exists but physically doesn't, okay? It's just, you know, it's just a non-destructive modeling. So the way to go about it, right, would be to simply cut the wedge, you know, create a wedge cut in here. So what I could do is uh, enable the you know dots in here so let's control uh, click this and uh you know create a wedge cut with w so if you press w you're gonna create a wedge cut but i want to you know turn it around so let's just ever scroll this and rz 180 and there you go there's your wedge cut now the problem with this one is that you can clearly see that this edge here is not being beveled to fix this what you need to do is change the uh, angle of the bevel and you can do it with hard ups very easily okay by pressing q bevel holding alt and scrolling your mouse down until uh, you can see on the bottom there is a um, uh, angle on the right side yeah um, and this angle needs to simply be uh, you know agreeing or simply below um, the uh, the angle of this face which in this case is you know 27 degrees right now if you didn't have the bevel here okay so if you let's say you're working without bevel so let's remove the bevel okay uh, this will not work but you, what you can do is you can use the auto smooth uh, settings for sharpen so if you shift click on sharpen and move your mouse to the right okay you can see that now the sharpen uh, the auto smooth value is changing and it's catching this uh, you know uh, angle here so there you go guys that's how you work with uh, uh, bevels and bullions uh, you know and all that stuff like subdivision with hard ups and box cutter in a non-destructive mode and you know using these tools you can create some really cool stuff uh, and amazing shapes uh, and you know keep a, you know half decent uh, half decent shading i can clearly see that i need a subdivision here as well because i got shading issues in here so let's go to modify and alt click on subdivision which will probably introduce some problems let's shift a uh, control click on sharpen and there you go, Bob Jankel. And then probably we will need some decimate here. Or we have decimate, which means we need to turn it on. And you see when I turn on decimate, 
there all my problems are simply disappearing and now you got a really pristine clean mesh with no problems almost perfect shading and there's a slight problem here on the top but probably if i move my modifier a little bit it's gonna get solved there you go rz and just rotate it a little bit move it just outside a little bit and let's see if this is gonna help there you go and you know sort it so that's it for the video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did and uh links to hard ops and box cutter are in the video description thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video